my friends welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new today we're going to be creating some tear trade DIYs with stuff in my crafting stash and so we're going to start out with these wooden blocks I've had these for a long time my husband had cut some wood for a different project and so we had a whole bunch of these wooden blocks that were left over in the same size and they make a great book stack so I just pick out three of them and I'm using some lilac Waverly paint and I'm using just a very thin coat with my chippy brush so if you're painting with a chippy brush it's definitely not going to give you full coverage um, this is really more a dry brushing brush but we're using this paint today as a stain and so I just paint it on like that with a really thin coat and then I use a paper towel and I rub it off and I really really love the effect that this um, technique gives because the color seeps into kind of the grainy part of the wood and you get this really dark part of your color so since mine is purple it's like this really cool dark purple color in between the wood grain so once I glue my wood blocks together I'm just taking some twine and I'm gonna wrap my twine around the books I go around about 10 times till I get to the desired look and then I trim it off and I add a couple of solo wood flowers to the front that I've had in my stash forever and then here is the final look of this project I absolutely love how this turned out that purple is just amazing and it's so simple but elegant so today is part of a collab with my lovely friend Devin from Freckled Mom DIY. She is one amazing woman with a wonderful backstory. If you haven't followed her on Instagram, please go over and do that because she shares a lot of her personal life over there and her story and it's amazing. But we are crafting from our stash today and so um, definitely check out the link to her video down in my description box. For project number two, I'm taking this sign that I had got at Hobby Lobby. It was like 90% off on one of their sales. And I'm just taking some of my ivory Waverly chalk paint. It's one of my favorite colors. And I'm just going to paint the inside of this little sign. Once I get that painted in there, I do kind of let it dry a little bit. And I just want to make sure that it covers all of the wording that's in there. Then I'm going to take my brush and I'm not going to add any more paint than I already had in it and I'm going to dry brush around all of the sides of the wood. So I want this to be a very light dry brushing and so I do the entire wood part with never putting any paint in my brush. Some parts are thicker than others and that's okay. That's what kind of gives it the aged look. I do do the inside as well as the outside so that it gives it cohesive look. So this is a super easy project. All we're going to take is another one of our solo wood flowers and hot glue it into the middle of this sign. There is a hook on the back of the sign and I did go ahead and leave it in case I wanted to possibly hang it somewhere or use it as a different type of piece later. Um, but it fits nicely into my tiered tray and I don't have to do anything extra to it. And then this project is complete. I love this. It's simple. But I love solo wood flowers so very much and if you have never seen them before or never used them, I will leave a link in the cards and down in my description box. So if you're loving the video so far, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified every time I make a new video. And you can follow me on my other socials as well. I post more of my daily life in my Instagram stories and posts. So if you'd like to follow me over there, I would love to have you. So for our third project, we're going to create this little wreath um, tobacco basket. I'm always calling that the wrong thing. <laughs> I think for the longest time I called it the Tabasco basket. Anyway, the tobacco basket. I have this mini one. I have a couple of them. It was also a purchase from Hobby Lobby in a like severely discounted time. I think it was even a Christmas ornament. But I had these tiny wreaths also and so I just glued a tiny wreath into the middle of the tobacco basket and then I'm taking some fresh uh, eucalyptus that I had in my stash and I'm going to glue it around the wreath. I absolutely love 
using real eucalyptus. I love the smell of it and um, I think it's a really nice potpourri or a nice floral scent that you can get without having to use any kind of artificial spray. So then I took three more of my solo wood flowers. These actually came from the Dollar Tree. Every once in a while they have small packages of them and I glued it just to one portion of the wreath and then this project is complete. This is probably one of my favorites of the video. It's very simple but it's elegant and beautiful and I absolutely love how it turned out. So for the fourth project I'm going to take one of these um, terracotta pots. I had used it in a previous DIY. I just painted it white and then used some brown acrylic paint to dry brush over the top of it. Super simple. I love to add succulents to those and decorate them around my house. So I have this cone and it's just a styrofoam cone. I think this one came from the Dollar Tree and again I decided that since I love eucalyptus so much and the smell of it I kind of wanted to make like a eucalyptus tree. Now you could use this with fake eucalyptus as well. Um, either would be fine. These are kind of hard to work with the stems because they're so hard. If you've ever decorated with real eucalyptus you know that they are like a pretty hardy stem. So parts of it were flexible and parts of it weren't. So this was a tad bit time consuming to get the eucalyptus to stick to my cone but I'm just winding it around the cone. Now parts of the cone do end up showing through a little bit. Um, I was okay with that. I kind of felt like um, it would be like that if I bought it in a store too. However, if you don't like the idea of the cone showing through, you could definitely use some paint and paint the cone um, a darker green color to match the eucalyptus or um, you could paint it really any color, I guess, that you wanted underneath there to kind of hide the white part. I do go back in, as you're going to see here in a minute, and fill in some of my spaces with some spare eucalyptus leaves. Um, I don't cover up all of the parts, and I did leave about a half an inch on the bottom of the cone to sit inside my uh, terracotta pot. I don't glue this in um, just basically because if I want to reuse either one of these, I can take it apart and create something else. So I'm using just some of the spare leaves that I had left over. I go ahead fill in any kind of really large white pieces that I see in there and then at the very top of my cone I go ahead and I take a whole bunch of the leaves and I glue them up to the top to cover the cone. So I've told you guys like a million times if you've watched any of my videos that included like hot glue you know that my hot glue gun is like I don't know, 200 degrees. <laughs> it's like so hot. I've burnt myself several times, like have missing skin. I mean, it is a ridiculously hot glue gun. I really, really need to get a new one. <laughs> um, but if you watch like at the top of this styrofoam cone, I use my glue gun and it definitely melts like the majority of the styrofoam up at the top. So if you're going to create this or really anything with styrofoam, styrofoam balls, anything like that, that you want to keep it shaped, you definitely want to use a, a lower temp glue gun. Sometimes glue guns have um, like ones that you can like high, medium, low or whatever you would want to use like probably the low setting here because these styrofoam pieces that come from the Dollar Tree I find that they um, are not quite as like sturdy as even some of the ones I've picked up at Walmart or um, Hobby Lobby. So just keep that in mind if you're going to create this with your hot glue. <laughs> so once I get all the pieces on and I'm happy with the coverage and any of the white parts that are missing, I go ahead and stick it into my pot and then I add a ribbon and another solo wood flower and then this project is complete. I love the simplicity of this one and I love the yellow flower that one also came from the Dollar Tree. So here is the final look of all the projects from today's video. They're simple, they fit nicely into a tiered tray and they're very customizable. You could change the colors on the blocks if you wanted to um, and definitely solo wood flowers come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. If you've never visited their website I'll leave a link down in my description box and you can go and check them out. You won't be disappointed. I've made all kinds of projects with these and I am never disappointed with how they turned out. 
So as I said before, today's video is part of a collab, so don't forget to go down and check out Devin's video. And if you are coming from my channel, make sure you tell her and send some love from A Perfect Place to Start. As always, wherever you are in a journey, your journey is a perfect place to start, and I will see you in my next video.